Hi, I'm Blythe Stevens of A Blythe Coach, dance education and coaching to move through life with balance, grace, and power. I thought today we would do a little chanting. I know with pandemic quarantine, we can't be singing and vocalizing in groups like we did before, but it's still got so many health benefits and what I see mental, psychological, stress relief benefits that this is a great time to be practicing chanting or singing or repeating mantra at home. So please join me, find a comfortable seat. You can grab a block like I have or a cushion to sit on to in a cross-legged seat or whatever seat is comfortable for you. It could be kneeling, it could be sitting into a chair, whatever feels really well supported and grounded on the bottom and allows you to find a neutral posture. So an effortless, balanced shape. So a triangle shape is great for that because we do have a nice big base of support, can feel really securely situated and then allow the spine and the upper body to align over the top of that support, allowing us to breathe freely through all three dimensions, forward and back, side to side, even up and down, extending through the spine. And that's how we'll begin, is by just becoming aware of the natural breath and how that adjusts and changes our posture as we breathe. You can close your eyes if you want to, or take a soft focus a little bit in front of where you're seated, sort of past the end of the nose. And work out any excess tension you might be holding that you notice in this moment to sit as easily as possible, perhaps circle the shoulders and let them sink. Circle the head, the hands, stretch the arms. You could also do a full yoga practice and then use your mantra meditation at the end. Take a couple natural breaths through the nose. You don't have to change anything about your breathing patterns now, but as you bring your attention to the flow of the breath, it may naturally slow down and become calmer just by bringing that attention. The sound OM is defined in many different ways by yoga philosophy. It could be the sound of all sounds, the universal sound, the origin sound. For this practice, it's not important how we define it in words. We'll practice a technique that allows the mind to focus on the sounds that we're making through each stage of chanting OM. When we focus in this way, it's not so easy for other distractions and thoughts to come in. And so it's kind of like when we're brushing and flossing our teeth and keeping our oral hygiene going. We can also do that for our mental hygiene and hone our focus on one thing. In this case, it will be chanting OM. So the sound OM, when chanted in this way, actually has four different components. And it also exercises the mouth and face, which is really great for dancers and actors and speakers when we're really using our voice and our face 
to express. It's really great for that too. The first sound in OM is ah. And we, for practice, we'll open the mouth really nice and wide to make that ah. So it begins with the inhalation. And the first sound that escapes from us is ah. Then as we slowly close the mouth, it becomes oh, ooh, mm. And then there's a pause as we inhale again and start the cycle again. So bring your mind's focus to the sounds of ah, oh, ooh, and the vibration of the sound mm as you practice om. Or you're invited to observe all of these sounds in action as we chant the mantra. So we'll start with three times, but you can continue as many times as you like to create the relaxation and meditation that you wish. You can continue chanting throughout the meditation. You can only visualize, perhaps you're in a space where you really don't want to be making a, a bunch of sound or you're, you're not able to do that, taking a break from work or whatnot. Then you can also simply imagine the sound or listen to the sound in your mind's eye. That can be valuable too. So I'll take a couple more easy breaths. And then after the next inhalation, we're going to chant or think OM. Ah. And then continue or return to breathing normally and go about your day. I hope you've enjoyed this short mantra practice and that focusing on the breathing and the articulation of sound supports you in finding deeper relaxation, centeredness, and focus. For lots more yoga and dance resources, Check out the other videos on my channel, like and subscribe down below. Give me a comment. Let me know, do you have a mantra practice and what does that look like? Or are you interested in learning more about this area of yoga? Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.